Do you want to talk about Intel's new graphics card that everyone is talking about and really excited about? Yeah. Well, that's too bad because there isn't one. Oh. I mean, there's a graphics card. Uh, but nobody's talking about no it and nobody's cares. excited. <laughs> so this is, is this, yeah, what is this? Is this Arc 3 or? No. This is Arc Alchemist. This is still first generation Arc. But this new card, the A580, I mean, but... uh, sits five. in between the A750 and the A380. Okay. It has 24 XE cores, 24 ray tracing units, and. Um, matches the A750 with 512 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth and 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, the release was made with very little fanfare, and its pricing at $180 puts it only 20 bucks below some models of the A750. It is not very exciting. Why? Not why is it not exciting? Just Why? I don't know. I, I would. I would. I would hazard a guess that this has something to do with. Uh, I mean, it was okay. It's all of this is draw. speculation. This is all speculation because remember how it was rumored that Intel was basically sitting on like, warehouses of GPUs that they couldn't sell yet because the drivers weren't done and like there, there's been a lot of bumps in the road. Uh, this was announced a year ago. This GPU alongside Arc Three and Arc Seven, and it just hasn't materialized all this time. So if I had to guess why they're launching this thing, I would say it's because they just had them already. And they have to do something with them at some point. And so I think this is just their way of putting them out there, recouping some of their losses. I mean, we already knew, looking at the size of the A770's die and the, the price of that card compared to other similar die-sized similar VRAM configured GPUs from AMD and NVIDIA that Intel is not making money on these things. And this is about getting a generation out there, getting their driver development going, putting some silicon in gamers' hands, incentivizing developers to optimize for ARC, which clearly worked really well with Bethesda, <laughs> and just understanding that this ain't going to be perfect and we're very grateful to our first generation customers. Hey, don't worry. Battle Mage will be better, we hope. And, um, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe this is about, maybe this is about sh telling shareholders we've launched the whole lineup now. Right. I, like, I, I, I can't. You know, get rid of dead stock, um, hit a milestone, you know, whatever, whatever the reason is. Um, it can't be we think this is a really competitive product at a great price and we think it's going to sell like hotcakes. That, that much is very clear. It's not like Intel doesn't know how to benchmark a GPU. I'm sure they can figure that out. Yeah. I mean, at least it won't get you banned from Counter-Strike 2. Hey! <laughs> and it can play Starfield now. In other was, news... Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's the note. Starfield running 117% faster or something. Yeah, Intel updated the drivers for all their ARC cards, adding support for the A580, but also claiming significant performance gains. While many of the games listed were older titles, Intel did claim up to 149% improvement at 1440p high settings and up to 117% faster performance at 1080p with ultra settings for Starfield, which is pretty exciting. I I am really glad that the rumors ended up being false about Intel dropping out and giving up on discrete Me GPUs. Uh, it seems like they have, I mean, okay, if they've stayed the course for this long, there's no way we're not going to see Battle Mage. And I would be very surprised if Battle Mage doesn't end up being somewhat competitive. Decently solid is all I'm really hoping. Yeah, for. and and realistically, you know, I, I've talked about this before. AMD has a money furnace, and they have lots of money fuel to throw in their money furnace. Even if Battle Mage isn't amazing, even if it's not an industry leader, as long as it's a little bit better than Alchemist, then at least they can continue to go to the investors and go, hey, but yeah, the other guy is still ahead. But we're making up ground here. Stick with us till Celestial. We got this. 
Um, and maybe we have a legitimate third player in discrete GPU, which would be good not just for gamers, but also for the other industries that are using GPUs. Like how how freaking tired are we of NVIDIA not caring at all about gamers because they're so busy shipping every wafer that they can possibly book with TSMC to the AI machine learning industry? for crazy higher profits. We need more competition in that space. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because all of those high-priced GPUs, I mean, that cost will get passed along to you at some point once the VCs are tired of just throwing money into their money-burning furnaces.